Welcome to Midam Free Zone podcast, where we spotlight the entrepreneurs and visionaries transforming Dubai's business landscape. I'm your host, Rania, and today we're thrilled to have Mrs. Rehab Lota, Deputy CEO of National Bonds Corporation. Let's explore her multifaceted life from her role in finance to her personal achievements as homemaker, deputy CEO, board chairperson, and a mother. Welcome to the podcast, Rehab. Good morning, Rania. Rehab, could you share with us how your uh, educational background and early life experience influenced your decision of the financial uh, sector career? I'm very proud to say that maybe uh, I have started as an electronic engineer and now I am a banker. I have been into different education and different journeys through my career life. I've started as a school teacher, then I moved to the IT in the Ministry of Education. After that, I've joined the Dubai E government. Then I had to take a major decision to move from government, relaxed environment, to a more challenging place where so I started my banking uh, career. I started the Moward Finance, I stayed there for almost 14 years, and I'm lucky now that I have joined in the, uh, two years back uh, National Bond as a deputy CEO. That's great, actually. I can see like you moved from totally different uh, sectors, like from IT to financial sector. And I always say that to everybody, that having an IT background help you analyze everything. So help you to look at the picture uh, in a different perspective. You could be capable of doing micro and macro uh, management uh, in the same time. You have successfully managed being a mother, a board member, and a beauty CEO. What is your secret? How did you manage those different roles all together uh, so perfectly? I think you need first to set your priority. For me, and I think this is for all mothers, the most important thing in life is your family. Keeping that in mind, you need to do a proper time management. Set your goals clearly. Have smart goals. Then you work according to your plan. And we are all having this as, as a women. We have this commitment in, in, inside us, and we should believe that we can do it. It's not an excuse to say that I'm mother, so I cannot uh, give Mothers is mainly is about giving. So you can give inside your house or outside. And you always want your kids to be proud of you. So you need to work on yourself and do the maximum effort to reach there. And also being Emirati, uh, we have seen the focus in, on Emirati. I want to be a role model for any uh, Emirati woman. That's truly inspiring, Rahab. Thank you for sharing that. Now, moving to national bonds, how does national bond saving programs work? Before I go to the saving program, and I want to give a brief about who are national bond and what do we do. National bond has been initiated by uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed in 2006. The main objective of this organization is to change the culture in UAE. We believe that we need to, ha- to play a role in helping people change their life and start saving for their future. So this program started with uh, two main pillars, which is the financial literacy, and the other part is the saving tools. So on the saving tools, we have different type of tools. First, it's a very simple one, you just start. So you can start even with 100 dirham. We want people just to uh, taste the saving, uh, how it, this is affecting their life. And once they get the habit of saving, it's very important they make it regular. So by making it regular, it should run by itself. So there is like a regular saving program. So it's automated, deduct directly from your salary. And in this regular saving program, we have a different saving program. Mothers, by the way, maybe in the, this International Women's Day, it's an yeah. opportunity also to educate mothers that it's very important that they should start saving Uh, encourage their family to save and play the role of CFOs in their house. So they can also start saving for their kids, for their future, for their education. If you have a financial independence, which is very important for women, you feel safe, you feel secured, uh, because we never know what is coming in the future. Having said that, you have the option either to have a normal saving or regular saving, or if you have 
a lump sum that you want to save, uh, starting from 10,000 dirham and above, you can keep a deposit and we give a very good rate. We have a product that's catering also for retirement. So like we have a second salary where you can save now and you get salary after X number of years. You set it, you can change it, you can change the monthly installment, or if you want to, it, or you are aiming to be a millionaire, it's not a luck anymore. It, it is a saving plan with a high profit rate that we are providing in National Bond. We just want people to start. Start today, because that is very important, and this is the right time. Let's decide in this Women's Day that we want to be financial independent. It's a great uh, rehab, uh, how National Bonds are trying to cater different uh, people in the society with their uh, programs. This is our beliefs. And this is our why. We are here. Our existence is linked with financial literacy. So this is our starting point where we bring everybody to be on board and to be a saver. Moving on, how national bonds give back to the society? We are creative in giving back to society. Two years back, we have launched Sukuk al Waqf, which is the uh, endowment. It is a partnership between us and uh, Awqaf, me and mainly uh, His Highness uh, Sheikh, Sheikh Mohammed Center for Endowment. We're looking at an innovation in a saving program, but it actually it is you deposit or keep your saving in national bond and the profit goes for the project that is uh, covered by Awqaf, which is it might be building a mosque, uh, taking care of health or education for the community. After seeing the success of the Sukuk al-Waqf, we just recently launched Women's Sukuk. It goes to for the project that is dedicated for helping women who are suffering from breast cancer. It's not aimed only for uh, people in UAE. It's covering other countries and our main partner in, in this is Arab Women Association. So they are part of this project and they are planning to uh, build uh, a 50 center in different countries only for awareness of the breast cancer. Eventually, we will, uh, we're looking for having a, a hospital that will treat those people for free. I like how all those uh, national bonds are trying to also support women. They never forget about mm -hmm. women in the society, which is nice and great. Uh, Rehab, you have had an impressive career. What is the key moment that led you to become the deputy group CEO for National Bonds? I believe in challenges. And I know that the challenges and the stress, and this is what I'm looking for. I had the chance to move areas, as mentioned to you. The big decision was in my life when I decided to move from government and moving to the financial sector, where I have zero information about banking. So the first thing that I have done when I moved to financial sector is working on my knowledge. Because once I have the knowledge, then they have a power and they can move forward. My, my financial Islamic education, I've got lots of certification. I was the first woman uh, to get a CIMA certification in Islamic finance. I built that part and I have, with that part, I have the management skills. I have the, also the leadership skills. I have the communication skills. Bringing all that together, it gave me the chance to move from a business head in Mawarad Finance to my position now in uh, National Bond. That is very, very impressive. What about digital transformation with National Bonds? Before starting on any transformation is to revisit the process. Sometimes you have years of doing the same thing repeatedly and you don't even question it. So what I have encouraged the team, revisiting all the process and procedure, find out what are the area of improvement and digital transformation which affect the end result of the organization. So we put the priority for uh, digital transformation. We have successfully automated all our services. People can download our mobile app. They can access our services. It's 24 by 7. We have seen uh, a huge growth in the last two years, 300% increase in number of customers. The majority are coming from online. This is where everything is heading. If we look at the digital transformation, we need to think of the strategy of our the transformation. It's only the, not digital. We need to look at AI, how this AI will change our 
way of uh, doing business. So this is something that we are, we are working on. We will have a strategy of using AI in all our departments. AI is truly changing the, how the world is functioning now. I couldn't agree more. Even if you think of chat GPT, yes. you have to use it now on a daily basis. So we need to be up to date when it comes to technology. We need to be aware and attend the seminars, training. We need to know where is the business trend when it comes to uh, digitalization and uh, AI? Yes, absolutely. As a closing, what is your advice for the entrepreneurs? My advice is, number one, knowledge, market research, know your competitor, know your product properly. Don't start your business on a loan. So start saving for, for your business and set a proper goal. Uh, review your goal every two months, three months, because everything is changing in the market. So you need to be up to date on your market, on your competitor, and finally, believe in yourself. Wonderful, Rahab. Thank you very much for your advice. Thank you, Rania. Thank you. Thank you for tuning into Midam Free Zone podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. Stay tuned for more episodes.